Okay, this video is on surf fishing on private beaches in the state of Florida. You know, you might say to yourself, well, geez, you can't do that if it's a private beach in front of a condo. Well, this video is going to explain to you that there is no such thing as a private beach that goes all the way to the water. I don't care if it's a home. I don't care if it's a condominium. You know, I'll never forget one time my dad and I were on the beach and a fella came down from his condo and said, hey, you fellas can't fish here. This is this is private land. And my dad with a little smirk on his face said, well, I, I hate to disagree with you, but there is no such thing as a private beach that goes all the way to the water. And he proceeded to explain to him the rules. And that's what this video is all about. There's a graphic here that really explains it well. You have a legal right, you know, as long as you got to the beach from a public thoroughfare, you know, where you parked or whatever, obviously you can't walk over private land, that's against the law, but uh, if you parked in a public access, and, and there are many of them, the state of Florida, you know, has a, a responsibility to give us those spots to get on the beach, and from the mean high tide line to the water is public access. So uh, high tide, you know, if, if you don't know what high tide is, you can Google that. But all that is, is, you know, with the, because of, you know, the moon and the tides, when, when uh, the water reaches high tide, that is, uh, that's the high tide line. The mean high tide line is just an average, you know, every day it might differ by a, you know, a few inches, depending on the, uh, the lunar phase that's going on that week. So and you know you have public access to any beach as long as you're there so uh you know well how do we how do we determine where that high tide line is well there there's a few different ways out there uh you know the easiest way is is if you're on a beach and you know, read your newspaper or whatever the night before, and you can tell when high tide is or low tide is, or even if you don't have access to that, you can see this beach here that I'm fishing on. Well, you can tell where high tide was. You know, usually it's where that grass wash up stops, and you can see the dark color of the sand. So, you know, I can take my fish cart. Now, this particular area I'm fishing, I am, uh, you know, I'm on a beach that allows fishing. But let's say I wasn't. Let's say I knew the Pompano were in front of a condo, and I knew that they were uh, hitting, you know, maybe an hour after low tide or whatever. Well, I have every, every right in the world to take my fish cart and park it down in this wet sand area. So, and, and there's, there's a, an easier way to determine your tides, too. If you have a smartphone, and I highly recommend getting one, there's a few apps out there, and uh, this is that graphic I showed you earlier. This is a really cool site. It's uh, flcgrant.org, and, you know, they just like promoting, uh, you know, the, um, the rights of people to uh, beach access. They promote that, and you could, you know, you could give them a, a, a donation if you, if you want to enforce that. So that, that's where that website comes from. You can see the, the URL here if you want to go to it yourself. But anyways, uh, I like to use an app uh, called Rise. Now this is going to be in the either the Apple Store or the, uh, the, Google, the Google Store. But uh, anyways, I like this. It works good for me. All I got to do is punch in the beach that I go to most of the time. And it's going to show me my uh, my high tides and my low tides, you know, you can see here on this particular beach that uh, high tide's gonna happen twice a day at 4.04 a.m. and 4.22 p.m. And that'll change every day depending on the lunar phase. And it'll tell you what the, uh, what the moon is at uh, for that particular day. And it's also got this little solunar, which is Oh, I, I don't know if I put that much faith in it, but these black dots represent if it's going to be good fishing and um, what time of day it would be. So that's a, that's a neat little app. But, you know, getting back to that beach access, don't, uh, don't let anybody try to scare you off 
as long as you're below that mean high tide line. Now, if the fish are biting like crazy and and then all of a sudden you find yourself uh, with only five foot of beach left and you move your, your gear up above that mean high tide line, well, now they they do have a complaint. They they can call Mr. Law and, and get you off of there. So, and it's probably gonna, not gonna happen to you that much but if it does, you've got rights and you should know about them. So, you know, I hope that's been helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel.